Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, um, I'm going to tell you how to add um, trusted user to your game. So basically, there's like a timer right here, and when it gets down all the way to 10,000, it will disable object of your choosing. And once it disables, you like, you can put anything down here, but I just put this down here. You can put anything you want down there, or like in your area. But basically, um, it's really simple. Join the Discord link in the description to get the script. And then what you want to do is just create an empty object. So this is trusted user events manager. As I just call it, you can call it something else. And just drag the script on it. It should be called trusted user controller. Drag down there. And then object to disable. Select the object that you want to disable. Let's say I want this to get disabled. I will just drag that in there like that. Then countdown text basically just shows the countdown text. So this right here um text 8 so i'll go back up and then i'll just drag them there and that's basically it it's really easy to do and it does actually save so you don't gotta worry about that because timer and stuff does save it's really it, it's i did make the script i i think it's pretty good look at it though it, right well look here. follow me it will pe pe people play my game, but um, after that timer goes down, it should stay at zero. Then this should like disappear slash open, and then you just do this. What I did for my chest of these events, I put like a mirror, some fan on it, and like some like how like some this stuff. And then what I think you guys should do, I think it's really cool if you have moderator cosmetics. Oh, by the way, for this, you don't need Playfab or Photon. You don't need any of that multiplayer stuff. You can just... All you need is, like... You don't even need the Gorilla Wig. You can use this normally. But basically, I like to just put moderated cosmetics, like, behind the glass wall. I think that looks pretty cool. And, if you want to change the time in the trusted user events, you can edit the script, and I'll show you how. So, you go to scripts. You find your scripts. If, oh, you find that script, if I can find it, and I can't find it, oh my god, where is it? Let me just sort of, um, okay, yeah, right here. So, basically, if you want to, like, change how long it is, it might be kind of glitched, like, on your Unity version, because the saving and stuff. Like, if you set this to 5,000, it would still be at, like, 10,000, sort of. Only for your Unity account, though, but if you, like, update it... Like, only for your unit account, so you can set this, like, just set this number starting time to whatever you want. And then basically everything else is fine. All this is fine. If you want to says what it says, like, um, countdown text, blah, 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 and then, let's say, display time. So basically, it just, so right now, basically just puts the numbers, right? If you want it to say something above numbers, you could say, like, um, time until blah 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 and then it would just it would just appear in front of that but what i do is i just keep it as nothing i think it looks better it's really up to you though and that's basically how you add trusted user to your game if you do make a video on this please give me credits I, it's fine if you can, it's not really fine if you steal it but do what you want with it hope you have fun making your game and stuff and yeah bye